r slash crazy neighbors. This all started a few days ago when I got home from work. I was met with a noise complaint from my neighbor just below me. Let's call him Mark from Tubi. Mark from Tubi says that last night he heard strange noises coming from my apartment, loud thumps and footsteps. Mark from Tubi told my landlord that he believes these noises were due to me bringing a new pet home. I informed my landlord that this was crazy. Pets were against the building's rules, you see, and I despise animals. Dirty, noisy little creatures. My landlord has never had any complaints about me before, so he let the complaint slide. Thing is, though, I was trying not to hold the accusation against Mark from 2B. After all, that was the same day his daughter went missing. I can only imagine what kind of stress he was going through. So the next day I get home from work, and there was yet another noise complaint. Again, placed by Mark from 2B. My landlord says that Mark could hear scratching coming from my apartment while I was away at work. How ridiculous. I told my landlord that I was at work all day. We know I didn't bring a pet home, nasty little creatures, and I was out of the house from the early morning until the evening. Where could the noise possibly have come from? My landlord understood, and we both decided that Mark from 2B must be quite on edge. Now, despite the inconvenience of having to dispute a noise complaint for two days in a row now, at this point I still felt bad for Mark from 2B. They still hadn't found the poor guy's daughter. Finally, today, once again, I came home from work and once again there was a noise complaint coming from Mark from 2B. At this point, I'm starting to take it personally. I mean, I understand that it's going on three days since Mark from 2B's daughter has gone missing, and I still think he's owed some patience because of it, but there's no reason to take it out on me. This time, my landlord says that Mark from 2B heard moaning and what sounded like screams coming from my apartment. A bit spooky, huh? Gotta say, I was a little freaked out to hear that. Is Mark from 2B going insane, or was there an intruder in my apartment? Either way, I'll be making sure that my doors and windows are locked tight tonight. I joked with my landlord and said, What, did a ghost move in to dog sit the new pet? Filthy animals, dogs. He laughed and said that the complaints were getting annoying, not only because he had to write and file a report for each one, but he informed me that they had a policy regarding the number of complaints per unit. If they got one more noise complaint from my apartment, they would have to launch an investigation, which he knows would just be a waste of time. It would be a boatload of paperwork for him and a needless invasion of privacy for me. I told him that I understood. I'm doing my best not to hold a grudge against Mark from 2B. After all, like I said, his daughter is still missing. But if I have to let someone come into my house and invade my space just because he's hearing imaginary noises, I'm going to be pissed. Anyway, that's where we're at. Hopefully I don't get another complaint tomorrow. Update you all when I have more. Update. Got home from work today, and no noise complaint from Mark from 2B. What a relief. In fact, no one's seen or heard from Mark from 2B all day today. Where it is he found his daughter. They've probably been off giving their statements to the police all day. I imagine they're getting dinner somewhere to celebrate their reunion right now. Either way, I'm just glad everything worked out. No more investigations for me, and I'm sure Mark from 2B and his daughter are relieved to have found each other again. I'm sure they're happy. Wherever they are, 